Alright, today is Monday, and Mondays usually mean mail, because that's when I usually get most of my stuff in the mail. Um, let's see, I went to a thrift store yesterday and picked up a few things. Some pretty cool stuff. I actually don't have it here to show, but I got a really cool, uh, like a, a fruit crate from many years ago. Somebody had donated a crate with records in it, large crate, and um, the records got to one bin, and the crate got to the other bin. One guy took all the records, and I took the crate, and I got a really good deal because they only charged me two bucks for the crate, um, uh, because it was crate or uh, storage containers are, are usually a dollar, and the larger ones are two dollars. So that's really really pretty cool. And uh, uh, the neat thing about that is that this particular crate would probably sell for fifty or sixty dollars online. Um, and the guy ended up with a bunch of stupid Lawrence Welk and Polka records. So I lucked out, and he didn't. Um, so I'm going to show a couple other things that I found. I found this, um, this brass ring here. I thought it was a napkin ring, and it still might be, but it says a JT uh, Wakefield on it. Um, with a little more research, I might be able to figure out who JT Wakefield was. But I'm almost 100% sure this is a piece of what they call trench art. Uh, made in the 1940s or something like that, after World War II perhaps, I don't know, out of a shell or something like that. So that's really, really cool. And what's even cooler is I found this Rawlings official Northwest League ball, and it fits perfectly on that. So now I have a really cool a baseball stand or whatever I choose to use for it. This is kind of a cool ball. It's got all this red here, uh, like clay or whatever like that. So um, really neat ball there. I uh, found that, and that probably together was a whole dollar for that. Uh, I purchased a card here. I mentioned it in a previous video. And I got, this is from the uh, Trevor Lawrence uh, 50 card set. I think this is card number 30. Um, as I said, I'm not a big fan of some of these uh, glossy cards because um, even though they're glossy, they're kind of like a semi-gloss and kind of mute the colors. Um, but, and also, uh, the other thing about these glossy cards is there's no foil stamping here. So the 1998 or whatever design this is, uh, the tops and the draft picks are all in black nothing I could do about that but I just picked a, the card I liked the design I liked all the designs more or less and there's uh, the only problem is that they reused a bunch of pictures and zoomed in on a few of them so there's another one of them him where he's throwing and you don't even see the football what's the point of that uh, so I just picked up a card for 495 total that included shipping and it came in a penny sleeve and a um, card saver and the other eBay purchase I got here before I get into the, um, uh, this one came from something called Fantastics Magazine. I'm not really sure, but I'm on a fame kick here, as you might know from the record I bought. This was something ridiculous, like $6 free shipping or something like that, and I got the very last one. And it's got, um, this fold out here has got, um, things about all the different casts, um, characters and there's some puzzles and games on here from the American Lung Association and um, this is dated I think 1984 and the cool thing about it is it's a poster it's a poster you can't fly if you're high don't let lungs go to pot uh, so that's really cool this is like a 27 or 24 by 17 poster or something like that and there's the whole gang right there including the teachers, etc. So that's really cool. And then there is the top of the poster. It's pretty big. Um, there's the um, Gene Anthony uh, Ray right there. I think that's Michael DiLorenzo, perhaps, right there. I'm not sure, and I don't know who the other guy is. I think probably just a nobody. Well, I wouldn't say that. Maybe Billy Hofsey is one of them. I'm not really sure. Um, but anyway, I think that's really cool. And then... Um, so I had to get that, and that was the last one. I think 17 of those had sold. I got a postcard here. It says New Biology. Um, just one of those Penguin Book Series cards there. Um, and this is from, I believe, Brooks, California. There's a Brooks in Oregon, but there's a Brooks, California, and they canceled all my stamps. As best as the cancels would work there, so that's cool. There's that one. And I had, I think, one more postcard. I'm not mistaken. No, actually an index card. So the autographs that I got in today, I think I got three TTMs here. One of these is from Charlotte, North Carolina. And this is not a NASCAR, if you can believe that or not. This is former um, uh, left wing, um, second, second, uh, this is number uh, what, draft pick. He was in the 
I think he was in, drafted in the second round in 1991, Jason Daw um, of hockey. I forget who he played for at the moment right now and who he is drafted from, but uh, who drafted it, I mean. This is, I believe, card number 26. Uh, some exclusive edition tuxedo set. I remember these cards. These were advertised in all the magazines, the card magazines. I had to have that. Uh, this card I think I found in some sort of grab bag. I don't know. It might have been a Fairfield. I don't really remember. And he nicely signed this uh, index card that I put uh, Canada stickers on. So that's really cool. I found a couple of sheets of Canada stickers for like nothing. Uh, so that's really cool. Then we have a few more here. We've got one out of West Palm Beach. And I thought it was my long lost... Um, not Orlando Mercado. It was um, oh, the guy. I can't think of what his name was. Uh, uh, he played played uh, um, uh, he played from like the uh, the 60s all up until like 1975. He played for a long time, and I still don't have those four cards yet. So I have to order those again. But this one actually came from professional golfer Steve Pate. So I thought that was really cool. I haven't gotten Steve Pate before, and I got him on four different cards. So they're all set pickups. This is from the 1991 Steve Pate. This is from the 1992 set. And this is from the 1992 Champions set. So that's really hard. You can't find those very often. They, these hopefully haven't zoomed up in cost because I think I lost one or two in the mail. And then there's the 1990 set, which is the one that... I've, 90 and 91 are the sets everybody's working on. They rarely ever work on 92 because it costs a couple dollars more. And they never work on the champion set. I mean, I'm one of the few people that got the foil champions cards signed. And last but not least is one of the better ones that I've gotten in a while. A uh, bunch of weird stamps here. I think that's the envelope out of... Uh, I can't read it here. Arlington, maybe? I'm not sure. And I got three of three from, again, former major leaguer, so they're all former something or other. Uh, Rick Monday for 73 tops. I've had that card for a long time. And I finally got, got, it, got it sent out. I just never thought that he would sign, you know. I just didn't think of it. So I thought that was cool to have that for a set pickup. Then I sent him this 71 checklist that had his name on it. The only one I had was I had writing all over it, but you know, who cares? It's still a 71 checklist no matter how you slice it. And the last card, I just grabbed a random card. I wanted one on the Dodgers and I got Rick Monday and an 83 Don Russ. So that's really, really cool. You know, you could stress these things and I just had these cards on hand. I wasn't going to order any more. And that's part of my problem. I'm just stressing a lot of cards that I, you know, need to get as many cards as I can. And I usually find one or two and then, oh my gosh, what do I do? So this is an amazing day with three, seven, eight. I got nine autographs total today. That is just absolutely outstanding. I haven't had one of those in a long time. So, and almost all of these, there's one, two, three, four, five, half of that's for set stuff. So really awesome. And this will let you know who's still signing. And thank you for watching.